Hey world, you being willing to come back with another video. I, I'm just trying to understand why do they not protect our children? Okay. Right now in America, they've created something, and you know they always got to come up with these terms. Food insecurity. Right now, the concern is we have a large percentage of American children that are experiencing food insecurity. Now, why wouldn't they just say inflation is causing parents to not be able to buy the food necessary to nourish the children or themselves because of the price of foods, price of goods and services, and there's no relief? There's no, you know, okay, we see this happening, but we're just going to politicize it and say, hey, kids are not eating. We need to do something about this. Instead of sending money overseas, instead of having the main issues to be abortion and gender affirming care for minors, why not feed our children, you know, nutrients? Because I promise you, a lot of the stuff that's going on stems from a lack of nutrition. Why do you think kids join gangs? Why do you think kids uh, love Disney? Why you think kids believe in the Santa Claus and the Easter Bunny and go trick-or-treating? Because their brains are not developed, and this is what we socially engineer in their minds for compliance, okay? And so, but when it comes to a kid saying, you know what? I'm 12 years old, and I've been watching stuff on the social media, and I think I know I'm a boy, but I want to be a girl. Now, that conversation that needs to be a conversation with your parents that need to be addressed because what's going on? See, y'all trying to make us think that what's totally abnormal is normal. I mean, when you have your Department of Human and Health Services person in the Biden's administration, a transgender, an old white guy that's advocating for this gender affirming care for youth bill to eliminate the age so he don't want the age in the bill because he wants kids to be able to do it at a younger age. When he was a grown-ass man, married and everything, had kids and everything before he decided to flip the script and say, I'm a woman. And go check him out. His name is Levine, L-E-V-I-N-E. -E. Uh, he's, the, he's, uh, the he's the department secretary. He's the head of the Department of Human and Health Resources, HHS. This is the guy that's advocating for gender affirming care for kids, these transitional drugs for kids that are irreversible. And we all know they have any type of, you know, if you raise kids, you know a lot of your kids don't even start making, you know, halfway good decisions until they're like 21. And then when they turn 25, which that's pretty much been documented. You can't have it both ways. You told us that the frontal lobe, isn't developed to the age of 25 in males. And I'm telling you right now, I can dig it. Because I made a lot of mistakes before the age of 25. And a lot of them after. But one was, I knew I was a man. Okay? So, let's protect our kids. What is this all about? I mean, it doesn't make sense. You did? So, like when you watch that debate tonight... See what they be talking about. If the issue is going to be, oh, illegal immigration, abortions, you know, gender affirming care for kids for they can, for they can, you know, ruin their bodies. That's not what this is about. What about kids that are hungry right now? that can't, they don't have food. Parents that can't feed their kids. Elderly senior citizens that can't feed themselves because inflation is 9%. And they, and they don't, the government doesn't recognize this, even though they put the plans in place for Social Security and these pension plans to pay an individual a certain amount of money every month, right, for the rest of your life. But y'all know inflation occurs 2% every year, and y'all don't put in something called COLA, which is a cost of living adjustment, but you can send billions of dollars overseas? Come on. Anyway, family, in the meantime, between time, in the most time, Saudi bring you joy. 
And guess what? If you ain't had a chance, go check me out on TikTok. Follow me on TikTok at Being Willie the Truth. And Being Willie's 95,000.